actually jump into another story here. Um, Takashi 69 obviously can't seem to stay out of trouble. Now, we know my man, Chief Keith, and shout out to RBC, RBC Records, you know, once again, was up in New York without any security a couple of weeks ago. And um, that's when two men, you know, pretty much unloaded on them. Chief Keith was good, you know, and everything. And um, but reporting right now is that they actually do have two suspects, you know, in custody because of uh, surveillance footage that, you know, they have got for well, somehow, some reason. Well, I don't know if these guys, are, you know, have said something or something have led to it. But Takash 69 is now under investigation by the NYPD for allegedly, allegedly ordering possibly ordering the hit, you know, um, on Chief Keith. So, Sam, Ant, what do you think about this? You know, um, and now, you know, before I actually you know um, his manager, you know, um, they were suspected of doing a few things. You know, they're under investigation, I should say, not suspected, but under investigation, you know, as well for a couple other shootings. What do you think about this, man? Is this going too far? I find it real interesting, just given and kind of the introduction that really made me start paying that Takashi 6 now was the Breakfast Club interview when he was on there kind of messing with Charlamagne. It was funny. It, it made me gain a whole new respect for him because I seen what he was doing on a bigger platform. And what confirmed that for me was his his manager, Treyway, coming on and just saying, hey, man, we're just doing this for fun. You don't see this kid out here hurting nobody. You don't really see him out here advocating violence. He's not doing the malicious things he's doing, although he's trolling and he's winning. What is he doing to get anybody hurt? Okay, that stuck to me because that went and said, okay, this guy's a character. Mm -hmm. He's in the lane. His lane is to piss people off, troll people, sell records. All right, I'm cool with the kid. He's smart. He's, he's pissing off Charlemagne the God, who's one of the greatest of all time and doing exactly what he's doing. And it's, it's dope at what he does. And he's getting under his skin. I respect him for that. The longer and longer you start going on and the more negative it starts going, it's either like, okay, either this kid is about that life or the stupid shit that he's doing is beginning to really start it's really starting to catch up to him and NYPD is going to pin him something on him, whether he did it or not. Now he's been out vocally saying that he wasn't involved in it, but right, right. after that he was in Chi Town on Old Block, um, supposedly Taunt. taking out mm -hmm. Taunt. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean just still poking, 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 poking. Um, Chief Keep just seemingly looking like he laughed it off, like you alluded to. He didn't have security out in New York. He wasn't tripping, he wasn't worried about it, but he was followed. So yeah. it's it's just got to be like we just talked about. You got to be careful because he's walking a real slippery slope. No one wants to see that brother get hurt. But it looks like he's either going down one of the two paths that we all know is just where it ends. Hopefully this you know will be a wake up call. And, and just to note that he was uh he was one of the first people. Actually, I seen um the XX Young get killed. I seen it on Takah 69 page. That's one of the first page. You know, he actually reposted that. Do you think that would do you think that this this right here is going on because it's real fresh and he sees the hit on him? You think that this will be the change? Do you think that this will be something that changes him? I mean, he posted it on his platform, but that's, that's what young kids do. So I'm not really going to get mad at him for that. But do you think that this will be the straw to go, you know what, let me fucking just chill? Maybe because I'll put it up on the screen for the family. It says, this can't be true, but just on the phone. He put the little emoji up there, like, you know, with the, you can see it on the screen there. Mm -hmm. So it's like, maybe, hopefully, you know, it is because at the end of the day, he didn't get this. He got this from his music, Takash. I mean, his music was on the billboard. Mm -hmm. He's charting. So like you said, alluded to, and I even alluded to, but said on the last podcast we did, he don't even got to do this trolling stuff. And it still be popping. He winning. You see right. him out there. He's overseas right now fucking winning. Yeah. He ain't trolling anybody. He let little kids wear his chain. He doing this. He doing that. You can do it. I'm not telling you to change your music. I'm not going to be one of them corny motherfuckers. If you were blood and this is what you live, you talk about it. It's a right. reflection of your music. I'm not going to get you on that. But when you out here perpetuating what you're perpetuating to the youth and to the kids and really putting yourself in a situation to wear one of them, if they say your name in another city, you don't know what could happen to them. You're walking a real dangerous line. And where does it end? Your boy just got, he's murdered. He got murdered. Murder. Yeah, yeah. It's it don't get any realer than that. We see this all day, every day throughout the inner cities, and it hurts. But now it's 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 put right in our face for everybody to see. What are you going to do to change this? Because your fans, and for anybody else, your fans and your family, what are you setting for them? What kind of example? Yes, sir. And you want to have kids and stuff and have a family. You want to enjoy those millions that you're going to make, man. So cut all the, the nonsense. That's out, that man. real bullshit. Let's talk real bullshit. Plant right. that seed, taking care of your family, build millions, building a foundation, taking care of your great, great grandkids. Fuck all these other people. You out here talking about other niggas. That ain't no bullshit. Let's keep it for what it is. Get that young boy shit out your head before somebody out here dies like 10 just did. It's crazy. Yes, sir. But you're listening to the Uncensored Truth Podcast with your brother, Old God and Sam. We're yes. going all the way in today on this Monday. We want to implore everybody listening. Please go up top, hit the like button, and make sure you share this video. And the best part about it, you could do it while you're enjoying all of the content. I want to turn it over.